Hello and welcome back to Microsoft Hates Greg. So, so I gotta say, uh, before I start this video, I was a little surprised by uh, the reaction to uh, "Don't use calculate." Um, so, I mean, it, it it turned out to be extremely popular, which is confusing to me in, to a certain degree. Um, and maybe I don't understand the why, the reason why it was popular, but if Basically, what I was going to do in this video is kind of continue on uh, with this concept of not using Calculate and showing why it's better. Um, and in doing that, I'm going to show how we can use this technique to, you know, easily debug uh, DAX code. Um, but I got to say, before we get started on that, is that, you know, okay, it, the reaction, I, I find it you know, a little bit confusing or whatever. And I don't know, maybe you guys like the content because I was just ranting my, my, yeah, whatever, just going on a complete and utter rant. Um, because, and the reason I say that is because, I mean, it's not like this is anything earth shattering. Um, I've been, I've been doing this, I've been using this technique for at least four years now. Um, and I wrote my Calculate, you know, blog article back, you know, over two years ago. And it really, I mean, it, and there's nothing that I said in that video that isn't really said here. Maybe, maybe I explained things better in the video. I don't know. Um, but, you know, basically I had like one, one individual maybe two that like actually thought it was a you know a good idea and commented on it um and that was about i don't know of course we had this guy um who was not a fan um and you know there's a story behind all of that and if you know you know <laughs> i won't go into it um and then you know one other person that you know hey it's a good idea so i mean it really didn't gain a lot of uh attention or attraction or really support um and the same thing with Dax cook the cookbook. I mean, like I mentioned in the video, you know, this is a tour de force in this technique because almost every single formula, you know, out of the 120 formulas uses this technique. And it, and, and this is by far my worst selling book. Um, <laughs> um, and probably my worst rated uh, more as well. Yeah, there's, remember I mentioned that that one star review? Um, this, oh shoot, that was Enterprise DNA. Uh, somebody dinged me because I used earlier in like one of the functions in that. So I thought that was funny because um, there's nothing really wrong with earlier. Um, but, you know, let me give you a behind the scenes on the analytics on this video. So, I mean, you know, 66 subscribers in the last 28 days, and that's that's pretty good for me, let me tell you. But I mean, to, to just put this in perspective, right? This is my channel. OK, this is what I expect to see on my channel. And then all of a sudden I publish this video. Don't use calculate. And it's like, I'm like, what is going on? Um, so, yeah, I mean, exponentially more views, you know, tons of comments, I mean, uh, every one of them positive that have, and 31 likes. That's. That's like 30 more likes than like any other video. So <laughs> anyway, I just blown away by it. So thank you. Thanks, everybody. And if you like this content, we're just going to keep continuing on with some of this stuff. I'm gonna go a little more in depth in this. So let's go ahead and get to it. So today I'm gonna to, I'm gonna take you through deep how this technique can be used to debug your DAX. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this into a table visual. So we got our Jane months and we got our values and all of that. And then uh, before we forget, we're gonna go in here and turn yeah, oh text wrapping is turned off. So you want to make sure text wrapping is turned off. And then what we're gonna do is well, let's take a look at our so we've got everything in VARs, right? And we want to like see what's going on, you know, as the steps are occurring, as the formula is executing. And we want to do that within context, right? Within context of the visual where it's running. So what we can do here is we can just put in date if we want to see what date is being returned in our date bar. And you can see we're being, you know, we're getting back the last day of the month, which is what we expect. And don't worry about this stuff changing over here because that's just because my uh, table is a calculated table using RAND uh, to return random values. Um, but what what if we want to see what's going on inside this table visual, this table variable? And you know, good luck trying to do that with calculate. See what's going on in the in the bowels of of calculate, right? Uh, good luck. You're not going to get there. Um, so let's so let's go ahead and use concatenate x. We're going to put our table in there, and then we're going to we just let's say that we want to know what what dates are coming back from our, and we'll just put a comma space as our delimiter. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and hit this. And so as you can see, and it's really easy to see in the tooltip. Hey, look at that. I've got dates for all the January dates. And I go down here and oh, I've got dates from the 1st of January through the 2nd to the 28th of, of February. And here, March. Oh, yeah, I got March dates. 
So, I mean, so you can really see easily and, and you'd actually see what's going on. Um, you can get even more sophisticated with this. Um, so what if I want to see what's going on with my date and I want to see what's going on. Oh, I got to put an ampersand in there. Ampersand, so I want to see what's going on with like multiple things in my table, right? Well, I can do that, right? I can just create a separate, create a, basically a string like that. And what's really cool, and this is a technique I learned from uh, Brian Julius at uh, Enterprise DNA um, that comes in really handy is using Unicar 10 as your separator. And again, I, I, I think I said this in the last video, Uni Enterprise DNA does not sponsor my, <laughs> does not sponsor this channel, uh, but uh, they've got some fantastic content out there and really smart people like Brian Julius and Sam McKay and that that post a lot in the community and it's just they're just phenomenal content providers and there's the phenomenal content providers all across their uh that that platform and I'm really excited about the new program they just announced where they're gonna you know content creators can like post their content and have it surfaced on enterprise DNA and get you know exposure that way and it's not exclusive and I, mean, I think that's that is a super cool concept um creators are always looking for new uh avenues for their their work i yeah you know, i know pretty much everybody is all right so let's go ahead and do this now it doesn't work as good in a table visual but it's the same kind of concept right so now i've got two values i can see what's coming back on the first of january see what's coming back on the second of january etc i can see the actual values in the table right what's even cooler to a certain degree is that card visuals for whatever reason and this makes no sense but card visual tool tips work differently. So watch what happens when I turn this into a multi-card visual and I hover over this. Look at that. There's the Unicar 10, man. Now I'm returning, you know, and debugging this and I can actually see it like as a table in the tool tip, which is super cool. And I don't know why all the tool tips don't work that way uh, for table visuals. But card visuals are the one thing where you can return this text or whatever and and it, it actually shows it as, you know, it, it respects the Unicar 10, which is basically a line feed more or less in that you can put in. So, you know, just some of the things that, you know, I don't know why all the tool tips you know, or the tool tips for the table visual don't work uh, other than, you know, the fact that table and matrix visuals are just supremely broken in uh, in Power BI, but that's a subject of a different video. Um, so now let's, um, I got one more thing for this video. So I'm going to go through and I posted, um, I didn't, I don't know if I showed you guys that, but so if you guys want to see, um, so if you guys want to see uh, the, I didn't mention this, but I should have, I'm going to start posting these, these solutions out to the Power BI Quick Measure Gallery. Um, so I've got better running total out here. So it goes through basically what I went through in my last video with the running totals and how the DAX does them versus, um, you know, a better way of doing it in my opinion and if you scroll down to the end of this you can find a better running total pbx that you can download um so i'm going to be doing more of these um and i'm going to do one right here um that i also have published out to the quick measure gallery which is better average per category so the, yeah, this is so this is what microsoft's quick measure better average per category comes up with so in this, I mean, even for a DAX Pro, I gotta believe that if you look at this, you're gonna be like, all right, like what? Because it's just weird. Um, so you have a calculate that wraps the sum and there's no filter clause, right? That's one That's one thing. It, wait, I have a filter, I have a keep filters, but it's not inside a calculate clause. What? You know, and let's not even begin to discuss the, the horrendousness of using values uh, versus distinct. Um, I've got a whole, I got a whole other blog article on that, adding no values. Um, which is uh, just goes through the, the ignorance. Well, I, I shouldn't. Man, that's just harsh. I may have to like, I have, my, my son edit that part out. Just I don't know the craziness of using value and values um, when there's there's better ways of doing it. Like in, instead of using values, use distinct. Distinct, you know, doesn't you know you could, there's a really good chance that your values is going to bring back a, a blank as a row, which I gotta believe 99.9% .9 of the time you don't ever want that blank row so distinct prevents that from happening um so anyway so let's go through this just you know they, they wrap it on an average x now this works right um and it, it's you're computing a sum they're getting the values of the month right so now i've got basically a th you know three row table um that has my months for any quarter um right and then i'm doing a sum but i can't just do a sum you know i have to wrap this in a calculate and then because of the way average x works right this expression the second expression 
right here is um, calculated <laughs> in uh, in the context of this table expression. OK, and that's why this works, right? So that's the keep filters actually is kind of in the calculate because it's the calculate is executing in the context of the keep filters. So I mean, but you think about this is like what person would construct their DAX this way or even think? I mean, the documentation on keep filters specifically says it has to be, you know, it's built to be used within a calculate statement. But, you know, so it sort of is if you twist your brain, right? Um, but it's just, a, you know, I can't imagine anybody that would say, all right, this is my first idea on how I would, you know, do an average value per month, right? So, so there's a better way of doing it, right? A more, much more logical way. And that is, okay, I just want to group my, or summarize my table by month, give it a value column and do a sum of the value. And then I do an average X across it. And lo and behold, I get, I get the same answers as here as I get over here, right? So, I mean, this is seems to me like you know, this super straightforward and easy way of conceptualizing what's going on versus whatever the heck you know that last formula was. I mean, crazy. Now, there's that one blog article, blog article running around out there that's, that that uh, that impugns summarize. Okay, right, and it and it talks about a very specific scenario where you have a very complex expression over here, and you might get wonky results, and so they're like, ah, don't ever use summarize. Okay, so don't use summarize. Fine, use group by. There's nobody has a problem with group by, um, so you can use group by the table by month. Here's your value column, and you do a sum x across the current group um, of your table value, and, and lo and behold, you get the same answer. But I, so this seems like to me like is very understandable. If I was to break into somebody else's PBX file DAX, and I was to see this, I'd be like, huh. I'm like it's not immediately apparent like what this is doing and it's hard to explain what this is doing to somebody that's new to dax and so it kills me that like power bi's quick measures are seem like it seems like that they're like oh, okay well we could solve this problem in five minutes but you know you know that solution doesn't involve calculate so let's spend the next three months trying to figure out a way to use calculate you know it's just people go out of their way to to get this calculate function into their dax formulas and it just boggles my mind as to why um, so anyway, that is enough of uh, ranting and, and all of that uh, on this video. I will, uh, you know, appreciate again, appreciate all the support and all of that um, on the, like, the don't use calculate video. It's super surprising to me um, and I appreciate it. And we'll, we'll, I'll try to put out more content like it. So everybody have a good one.